What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just going to break bad? What's up, guys? Road Ready Academy, the young man that does this TikToks and gives you some good information about trucking, is here with us today to talk about the incident that happened to him at a stop with a Ken or a male Karen messing with his reefer trailer. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, I can. No, you can't, sir. Read this sign right there. Yes, sir. I've been here before. I come over and shut your truck off. These aren't my rules. Come on. Mm -hmm. You're in Sandy Springs. This is a curfew store, and there's a noise ordinance. That's why it says before you leave your truck, you gotta turn your truck into refrigeration, because that echoes into my backyard right like that. So if you have a question, go talk to the store manager. I've already can... talked to them. Okay. okay. So he told you the same thing, right? No, he told me that you're not supposed to turn it off. No. Nah. Okay. Let's go ask him. Okay. Come on. All right, we're gonna get into it, bro. Road Ready Academy in the building. My guy from Georgia, the great state of Georgia, man. 85, 285, the Petro over there off of 85. What's going on with you, my guy? I wouldn't say great. I wouldn't say great, but, it, you know, it's it's good. <laughs> it's yeah. good. It's the only state I know. You know. There's so much traffic now, you know, I don't know. You know well, what, what it's turning into, but you know, well, you, know you, you you know over the years, uh, Georgia has been that place, man. In particularly Atlanta, you know, er everybody up here in the Northeast, up in uh, you know, up in the Northeast and the Midwest, had all migrated down to uh, Georgia over the years. You know, they they say they want to fuck with Georgia because of the of the weather you know it's much more black uh blackish down there you know what i'm saying so yeah it just made the, it just made the traffic and the congestion like like crazy down there bro right right I, we we have definitely felt the thing of everybody moving and you know so yeah, yeah, we we've been feeling the heat. <laughs> all right, man. All right, man. So we're gonna get into it, bro. You uh you 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 got a video on TikTok right now. Uh, let's let's get into that video right quick. Hold on. All right. All right, my guy. So talk to us, man. What's 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 going on, man? It it sounds like this guy comes from uh from from a house or something like that to come over there to to turn off your reefer yeah, yeah. trailer. Like what's what's going on with that, my guy? Okay, so basically uh what took place with that uh was I was making a delivery. So um I still drive, you know, and um you know, I, I build, you know, my, my channel part time. So but I'm a full time truck driver. I have I have my own company. So uh this load that I was calling on this on this particular day was just just on my just on my route. Just you know, this it's a, a normal haul that I do. Mm -hmm. And um I'm inside of the store and I, I hear uh my reefer cut off. So okay. I'm a, you know, if you haul a reefer if you have, if you if you're a trucker and you haul a reefer, you, you know how you hear loud, it cut off. Right. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna think like, okay, something's wrong. You wanna be gonna check it out. So, you know, actually, I'll, I'll I'll take it a step back. I actually seen this gentleman twice. So the first time I went to the store to make the delivery, um, I seen you know 
somebody looking like a customer in the back. You know, if you if you're in the back, you know, it's just employees. But I saw somebody walking around. Mm-hmm. You know, just pretty much look like they got a chip on their shoulder. I'm looking like, who is this guy? Like corporate or something like that. So the the employees told me like, okay, you know, this is a judge. You know, just just kind of be mindful and watch out for him. Okay. And I didn't really under, understood what what they meant or you know what they were talking about. So I just went on about my delivery. Right. Now what you saw that posted was the second time. So mm-hmm. when I came back the second time, uh, as I'm in the back of the you know offloading or whatever, uh, I hear the reefer cut off. So okay. I'm like, you know what? It's got. To- <laughs> Well, well, he only did it once. He only did it once, but okay. I, I, I basically, I, I saw him twice. Um, the first time, he did not do it. I don't know, maybe if the if the reefer, you know, the way it works is it'll automatically, you know, just cut cut itself off. Yeah, and if you go, got it you know, set on, if like, you got on, just, if you got on continuance, it'll stay on. And if you got on, right. I forgot the other word, but yeah, if you have on that, right. it'll, it'll just, turn just, off like, automatically. Like, Right, 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 right. So, so, so basically, the first time he, you know, it may have not even been on or whatever for him to do it. So, mm-hmm. it, this only happened to me one time. I was in the back, like I said, it cut off. So I'm like, you know, what this has got this don't even sound right. So I walked out there and I saw him walking off. So I'm like, yo, let me, you know, yeah. let me record this because I'm like, yeah, because you about, to, you, you about to hit him up, up like, yo, bro, bro, what's 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 your function? You, yeah, you know. <laughs> Right. So, so I said, you know, I'm, you know, me, my personality, you know, I'm, I'm not zero to sixty like, like, like most people. I, t- I try to really analyze, right, and you know, just, you know, understand a situation before I decide. You know, I want to really put any emotion into it. So when I post right. them, you know, as you can see in the video, I, I was very reasonable. Like, hey, right, you was so calm with him. Yeah, you, you, you was, you was calm right. like most, bro. I, I don't think, um, I don't think most drivers would, would would be that calm. Like, bro, you you messing with my equipment? Like, what the? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think. That was the number one thing I noticed in the comment section that a lot of people were saying. I was like, man, if that was me, if that was me, I would have done this. But, you know, what I want people to understand yeah, is let, that. Let me say, let me, uh-huh. let me stop you right there. The comment section, he's uh-huh. not you. Okay? So stop coming at this man. Say, well, if that was me, if that, if, could have, would have, should have, but have. Yeah, yeah. If that was you, you probably would have you probably would have did the exact same thing he did. You know, try not to be confrontational. Stop it. What, what I what I what I want most people to understand is that if you're in control, you're always in control. You know what I mean? So that what that means to me is that if you if you control yourself, you can control any situation. Because I could have easily used that opportunity to capitalize. And made this guy an ally. Now I got a judge in my back pocket. I can call upon for favors and different things like that. And and it may have started off as as, as bad or whatever the case may be. But I'm always in the mindset of like, you know, let let me make sure first before I put a final stamp on it. Because when when you take a situation too far, you can't back out of it. There, there's no coming back. If I would have you know ran up on him, you know, grabbed him or something, there, there's really no coming back from that. So. You know, basically, I'm, I'm, you know, it's my company, but I'm at work, right? So I'm conducting myself, right? You, you know, you, as you, such, right? You, you holding, you know, you being a professional about it, being that this your company. Yeah. Now, let me stop you right there, since yeah. you mentioned, since you mentioned that. Uh, would you hold your, let's say, if you had a driver uh, that was driving and that was in that same particular situation? Uh, would you hold your driver to the same standards as yourself? Oh, uh, most certainly. You know, if, if I had a driver that, you know, handled that situation any differently than I would have, then that would have probably compromised me and that driver's relationship because, as as you can see, you know, from what was posted on the video, um, the, uh, it didn't go into anything serious. You know, it just went into him saying, okay, well, you know, well, let, let's let's see then. Let's 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 get a witness or, or or whatever. But if someone else, you know, cannot keep their cool, you know, based on even if someone did touch the equipment or whatever the case may be, 
if you take it so far where we can't, you know, fix it or we can't intervene, that's a problem. And I, you know, and I'm praying guys before, like, Hey, if anything was to happen, the first thing you want to do is to call me, right? You don't, you don't want to take it upon yourself to, you know, handle a situation just off of motion. Call, call me, call the company and then let me know what's going on. And then from there we can make a decision. But, you know, that, that's just how you, got, I mean, there's so much that goes on when you're out there on the road. Mm-hmm. This doesn't have to come, you know, uh, in a situation like that. It could just come with you at a stoplight or you could, you hop out your truck to fuel. It could be anything. So, right. um, you know, I try to teach anybody that's working for me, like, Hey, I understand it's a stressful job. Um, but I always look for self control because I think that's just most important. You know what I mean? All right, so what's so what was this store? Was this like a what a family dollar Dollar Tree? What what was it? Well, well I, I, to, to 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 be real honest with you, I don't want to disclose okay. the name That's of fine. the store. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I don't, because I don't know how far you know this may go and who else right. may reach there or who you right. know you want to talk about. Right. Uh, Right, but just, just to kind of protect the, you know, that that store's integrity because, um, I mean, obviously, you know, they really wasn't, you know, they caught kind of caught in the crossfire. Like a judge moved next door. I mean, what do you do? You want to try to accommodate him mm-hmm. uh, the best way you can, especially, you know, uh, he has demands, you know, like that. Um, so, so you know, the store. I, I kind of want to leave them out of it that way. No doubt, no doubt. You know, if it does go up. Hey, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. So, what 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 was the uh what well what was the outcome between you and the judge and the people okay, in the store? So, so uh, when we walked back into the store, you know, um, uh, just to, just to kind of uh, go back to the beginning of the video, uh, when him himself said, "Hey, you know, didn't they tell you this?" Um, you know, early on the conversation, they warned me about the judge and made me aware that, hey, you know, there's a guy that, you know, lives next door, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't think anything of it because I'm, you know, you make, uh, you know, 10 deliveries, you know, in, in a week or whatever. You're not going to remember, hey, when I go to this area, let me watch out because I know they, you know, you're watching out for everybody. You back it up to a doc. You know what I'm saying? Everybody you're looking at. So nothing really. Nothing they said uh, stuck out to me significant enough for me to even remember. Um, so when we walked back into the store, uh, you know, the, the, the store manager or the lead or, or the guy that was on duty, you know, he, he just looked at the judge and said, hey, man, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. I, was get, I, I didn't know if he was talking to someone else, but. Uh, no, 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 um, no. My, much, my fault. The, the, my up. fault. The the phone started back playing. My bad. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. No worries. No worries. So when when we walked in, um, you know, he approached the, the the store manager like, "Hey, didn't you guys tell this guy? You know, when when people come up here, you know, they're supposed to have this stuff off, whatever the case may be." And the store uh, manager, uh, they just imme- immediately neutralized the situation. They just immediately said, "Hey, hey, hey," you know. We'll take care of it. You know, they pulled me to the side. They was like, "Hey, you know, uh, just just let him just let him go. You know, let him do his thing or whatever the case may be." Right, so it appeared right. that the store really didn't want any of it. They they didn't want nothing to do with it. But, they didn't want no smoke. Uh, they was fully aware. They didn't want no smoke, but they wanted me to give him the smoke <laughs> because they <laughs> they knew, you know, what I'm saying what was up, and and then they told me they was like, "Yeah, you know, it was it was some other drivers about there about to knock him out." So basically the store, you know, sort of seemed like they could have done more, in my opinion. They could have, uh, you know, been, you know, explained in a more detailed way. Like, hey, when you come here, uh, try to, you know, turn off your equipment because, but those words weren't to me. It was just more so, hey, watch out. You know, we we got a guy, you know, he's a judge next door. Mm -hmm. That could mean anything, right? Uh, and, um, you know, a, a lot of people, in the, uh, I had some people comment about the sign that he was pointing at. I want, I want to address that, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, regardless of what that sign says, you know, when you're making a delivery, there are signs everywhere. But regardless of what that sign says, 
Mm-hmm. There's no sign that says he can go in there and turn your truck off or turn your equipment off himself. Mm-hmm. You know, um, he never asked me to cut it off. You know what I mean? So it, regardless of what it said, uh, it, it's totally irrelevant, you know, in what he did um, to the situation. So. Right. Okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. And, it, you know, I, you know, I had a, I had an issue a uh, long time ago, you know, about four or five years ago. Hold on right quick. Uh, about four or five years ago that, you know, I was parked at, well, I, I was parked at a, at a, where was I? At a rest area or a trust stop? I, I, I can't remember, but my, uh, my reefer, uh, the temperature was messed with. So, um, I, you know, I did my pre-trip and everything. No, I was at a truck stop. That's where I was at. I did my pre-trip and everything, you know, every, you know, the, the, the reefer temperature was on point. And then all of a sudden, you know, I go up to the fuel island, I fuel, go in there, pay. And I, you know, back, you know, back then, you know, I, you know, I was like kind of naive back then because I was super new. So, you know, I, I did my walk around on the truck. I didn't bother to check the, the reefer for anything, right? But then when I get to this little plant uh, that I had to drop off at, at uh, in Ohio, you know, they noticed that the, you know, they, they checked the reefer temperature and all like that. And they was like, yo, bro, you know, your temperature is way off. And I was like, what you talking about? So I go and, I go and look at the temperature and I'm like, oh, ain't this about a bitch? So, you know, they, they didn't reject the load, but they, they took the load and they, you know, got it into the dock and kept it on the truck to get the temperature back up. But that Monday, that Monday I was, I was called into the office, you know, you know, shout out to everybody that worked together to help me keep my job. You know, I I almost lost my job over that, bro. Yeah, I almost lost my job over that, man. And you know, yeah, so that temperature, yeah, that temperature is important, man, because you know, you can, you can, you, you can mess it up by a decimal or something like that, and and all of a sudden, the the, the product that's on the that's on the trailer is no good. Yeah, right. And I mean, a lot, a lot of times, man, um, when you're out there as a driver, you know, you really got to watch out for the unexpected, right? Yeah. Um, even if you're not hauling the future. You know what? What I've known guys to to mention when I first started, um, it was told to me like, "Hey, when you you know wake up uh, from from sleeping and, and you um you know you do your pre trip, make sure you get on your trailer. Yeah. And you make sure it's still connected. The guys yeah. will pull your fifth wheel handle, right? Yeah. So I mean, we we have all those things to really worry about, man. And um, that's that's just the type of things you 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 deal with out here. So for me, you know, I, you know, like I said, I, I personally, uh, try to reserve myself, you know, it, I'm, you, you know, I was upset, but I, I, I try to reserve you, myself to where you handled it well, my energy right. is not me to be. I appreciate that. I, I, I definitely appreciate that. So that's the most important thing I would want someone to take away from that. And another thing is even if, uh, someone is in the wrong, you know, uh, you don't have to get on their level to prove a point because mm-hmm. just by his aggression alone shows that he was unreasonable because, hey, if you got a noise uh, issue and we pull up and, and you don't like the sound, um, you could come to talk to me mm-hmm. and say, hey, you know, uh, I live here, this is what's going on, such and such, and uh, if you guys could, when you come here, please don't. That that's not what he did, but I didn't want to join him in his parade and his anger and all that because right. it it could have went any type of way. It could have went just, left just by the way he spoke. It could have went left really really fast, you know. Yeah. So you know that that's how things happen. And like I said, if you can't take him back, then you know you 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 pretty much put yourself there. So I I would want anyone uh, that you know listens or anyone that goes to watch that video. The only thing I, you know, just take away from that is just, you know, uh, being in control of yourself 
and that will put you in control of any situation. All right, man. Well, I want to jump on one of the comments that's in your comment session before you get up out of here, man. Thank you very much. I, you know, I know you're a busy person and all like that. So thanks for giving me the time, bro. But this comment right here comes I'm from a uh, comes from a commenter in, in in that in that particular video. This young man says e equivalent to buying a house by the airport and complaining that the airplanes is too loud. So, <laughs> so I, I, I'm assuming the judge knows about trucks that comes in that area. And and he knows that you know that you know trucks bring noise, so why 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 complain about it if you already know about it? You know, honestly, I feel I I personally feel that you know a, a lot of people feel entitled, um, especially if you have a certain profession, and, and we don't see just see this from judges. You know, we see this from other uh, authoritative powers. Um, you know, we, we see this from uh, even someone as, you know, on the level of being a manager at a, at a facility or, or being a supervisor. I, I realize that there's a level of entitlement that comes to people's minds based on their profession and it bleeds out into their lifestyle and they don't know when to, you know, just be a civilian or be uh, normal or, or take what comes, you know, with, with their own choices. So, right. um, I believe that, uh, you know, he, he, you know, maybe this is not the first situation he's been in based no, on his personal. Yeah, attitude. That's, that's not the first and, time. That's, no, you know, yeah, that's, and, that's and, and not the first time anything. he did that. Right. It, you know, just the way he handled, uh, me as a person shows me like if I'm in front of your court, you know, I can already tell, like, okay, this guy's attitude, you know, he ha he has a power trip, right? He has a chip right. on his shoulder. So right. based on people's profession, like I said, depending on what they do in their personal life, sometimes it bleeds out into everything they do. So I don't know what would have caused him to buy a house uh, right, you know, a few feet away from a dock and expect it to, you know, no one's going to pull up and inconvenience. Right. I, I don't know. You know, even if we're pulling in, I mean, and backing up, you have to hear that. Mm -hmm. When we're pulling off, you have to hear that. So, exactly. you know, I, turning it off for a few minutes, I would have moved already. You know what I mean? So, right. or, or I would have said, hey, you know, uh, let me, since you got that much power, uh, let me contact the city and see if we can get a, a noise wall built up or something. Um, but, you know, attacking drivers and walking up on people, I think that's pretty ambitious and brave because you never know when you're running to the wrong trucker. Mm. He might just be having the worst day mm. of his life. And now based on you having that power trip, based on your profession and what you do, you can't separate your job from your reality, thinking that you can control everybody. Now you end up in a bad situation, messing with the wrong uh, driver, yeah, as, as wrong you can one. see in the comments section. Yeah, some people in the comment section probably wishing, oh, man, I can't wait for that happen to me because I'm going to knock this guy out with right. you know? So my, my, my thing is that, um, you know, uh, I, like I said, I don't know why, you know, some, someone would uh, make make a decision like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that story has been there for years, right? So right. Uh, hopefully, you know, if, if, he, if, 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 if he, you know, wakes up to, to, to his own decision, maybe he can sell the house. You know, put it on Airbnb something, but he don't need to be fighting with guys out here. Exactly, man. All right, my guy, go ahead and shout out your uh, your TikTok and where everybody can find you at, my guy. Man, I, I definitely want to say I appreciate your time. I appreciate you reaching out. I appreciate no you giving me the platform to be able to speak. Um, and if anybody uh, wants to reach me, you can go to Road Ready. Academy, uh, real simple, Road Ready Academy, and that's on all uh, social media outlets. You can go to YouTube, uh, Instagram, or TikTok. Right now, uh, we've been growing our presence on TikTok mostly, uh, so most of my content is isolated there. So if anybody's looking to get into the trucking industry, they want to understand, uh, you know, what this industry is about. It's a lot of information out there, and our job is to bring all the information and make it make sense. So, you know, you guys don't uh, hop into this thing, uh, lose hundreds of thousands of dollars 
or um, have a bad um, experience. I know we can't save everybody, and shoot, what we offer may not even work for you. However, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's good to connect, and uh, we're always willing to learn. We're always willing to share information, so that's it. Uh, just hit us up, Road Ready Academy. All right, Road Ready Academy, man. Thank you very much for stopping by the podcast. And I really do appreciate you, man. Everybody go over there and subscribe to this guy. He got some real good content, real good information. Uh, I, I don't think he'll steer you wrong. So, Road Ready Academy. A shout out to Lockout Men Podcast, man. Lockout Men Podcast. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?